what do you make of rates stateside now? Are we shaping up for an increase anytime soon? I, th I still think that a good placeholder would be uh, June and December, but the risks are skewed to the downside. I think that it's quite clear from uh, Janet Yellen's speech to the Economic Club of New York uh, that she is data dependent, uh, but she recognizes asymmetries in monetary policy and feels that while they could respond very easily to upside surprises, they have very limited ammunition to downside surprises. Is Janet Yellen data dependent? Because investors are somewhat confused about what yeah. her focus is now. Is there some rationale behind market dependency? Whether there's some weakness in the yuan that causes global flows to cause ructions? Or is the data actually unwinding stateside because some market participants have been concerned about some softness in yes. growth figures? So what exactly is her focus at this point? Yeah, that, that's a good question. If she is data dependent, which data is she looking at? Because if she looks at the market, if she looks at the, um, the GDP and the manufacturing sector and the mining sector, she'll probably stop. If she looks at the labor market, the unemployment rate, the job creation, she'll probably keep going. So that is a good question. But uh, I still think a good placeholder is for a hike in June. Um, Steve, I mean, you know, if you look at the inflation data and how it's expected to roll out, all of them are going towards what the Fed wanted to see them. <clears throat> if you look at the participation rate, it's already picking up quite yeah. sharply and it's continued to do so. So really the two main uh, data points, which were the employment side and the inflation yeah. side, pretty much meet the criteria for the interest rate rises to start, you know, in earnest. Yeah. So I think the game has changed by bringing in the international environment in and the impact that has on the U.S., which is a very long lag. So it means that the policy has now become very uncertain because we have no idea uh, where we are headed now because the, whole, the rules are now changed. So in that sense, the Fed has introduced enormous amount of uncertainty and volatility into decision-making policy. It's now becoming very uncertain. How should the market be responding to this? The risk premium should be rising? I think that the market should respond by saying that the risks to further rate hikes are skewed to the downside, but that nonetheless the Fed seems rather eager to get on with it. There's, I think, a, an idea at the Fed that interest rates this low when the unemployment rate is at 5% and economic growth is probably you know, hovering around 2% is probably inappropriate. Mm. But you don't believe that unemployment rates at 5% anyway, do you? I mean, most serious commentators look at the U6, look at the BLS data and say, yeah, do you know what? There is a measure that says 5%, but it's not the real rate, especially when not with a circa 63% participation. But is it going to be any different from the unemployment rate as we saw it five, six, seven years ago? Mm. In other words, is it more wrong now than it was then? And they were responding to it then. So the U3 measure is far from perfect, and I agree mm. that the participation rate has diminished. Part of that is demographic, mm. and part of it seems to be uh, for reasons we don't fully understand. Uh, but nonetheless, if you have a one bird to cook, that's the, that's the one.